In this lesson, we'll do two questions where we convert number of moles and number of atoms. Let's start with question one. Calculate the number of copper atoms in 2.45 moles of copper. To do this, we'll need to use Avogadro's number, which is shown right here. Think of it as a conversion ratio. So for every 2.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, we have one mole. We can flip this quotient where the moles are at the top and the atoms are at the bottom. It depends on what you're doing. So for the first one, we are converting 2.45 moles of copper. Now to find the number of atoms, you need to multiply this number by Avogadro's number. And as I mentioned, you can flip this fraction as you wish. I'm going to keep it the way it is, because if I keep it the way it is, look what happens. Times 10 to the power of 23 atoms over 1 mole. The mole units cancel out and we're left with atoms. The reason why the mole units cancel out is because we're dividing. Think of a number like 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. So mole divided by mole is 1. Let's multiply these two numbers out and make sure that your final answer has three significant figures. So we have 2.45 times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. Notice what I did here. When I multiplied these two numbers, I put this number in brackets. You should do the same thing with your scientific calculator. This gives us 1.475 times 10 to the power of 24. Everything after the 7 is insignificant, but because the number after the 7 is a 5, and this number is odd, we're going to round up. So we get 1.48 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. Also keep in mind that this is in scientific notation. If your number is not in scientific notation, make sure that it is. And you know that it's in scientific notation if you have a number, decimal, and then your other numbers. Let's move on to question two. In question two, we have a silver ring which contains 2.8 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. How many moles of silver atoms does it contain? Once again, we will use Avogadro's number. And this time, I will flip it so that the moles are at the top and atoms are at the bottom. Because if you do that, then the atoms unit cancel out. Let's use the color red. 2.8 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. And I'm going to multiply this by the flipped version of this, where I have one mole at the top and 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 at the bottom. Notice that we have atoms here and we have atoms here. That will cancel out, leaving us with only moles. Our final answer should have two significant figures. Let's use our calculator once again. 2.8 times 10 to the power of 22. Now I realize a lot of you probably use a little triangle that enables you to convert from one thing to another. By using this method, you don't need to memorize any silly triangles. Just remember Avogadro's number and that it is a ratio that can be flipped. Divide this number by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23, we end up with 0 0.0464 moles of silver. Everything after this 6 is insignificant. This 4 is significant, that 6 is significant, and the number after the 6, the first discarded number, is less than 5, so we won't even round up. 0 0.046 moles of silver. And of course, if you want this in scientific notation, you write down 4.6 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mole. Think of this negative 2 going in this direction, moving this once, twice, gives you what you get. And that's it. Two examples on how to convert between number of moles and the number of atoms.